so welcome back children so in the last class i was telling you about conduction so what is happening in conduction supposing this is a spoon or a ladle metallic spoon or a ladle now when you are heating when this is being heated the molecules which are over here this molecules after gaining heat the molecules start vibrating in this way they start vibrating as they vibrate they collide with the next molecule and as they collide heat gets transferred to the next molecule again the next molecule starts vibrating heat gets transferred to the next molecule in this way heat gets transferred and ultimately it reaches the end so the process by which heat is transferred from one molecule to the other without the molecules moving out of their position actual position is the process by which heat gets transmitted by conduction now conduction is found only in solids remember conduction is found only in solids okay so this is the process by which heat is transferred in case of solids any metal you can think of or in any other solid heat will get transferred by this method next we come to convection now supposing you take a beaker of water now here also water contains molecules but there are there is gap between the molecules supposing these are the molecules of water now when you heat when you heat from bottom what will happen the molecules which are at the bottom they will get first heated they will get heated at first as they will get heated their volume will increase they will become light and as they will become light they will start moving upwards in this way they will start moving upwards as they go as they start moving upwards the molecules from the upper region they will start moving downward to take the place as they will come downward they will get heated and again they will start rising then the other molecules will again start coming down coming to the bottom so here what is happening actually the molecules are leaving their original place coming to the source of heat getting the heat absorbing the heat and again going back to its place so it is just similar to the situation that when i said for transferring the book from my hand to the last bench to a student sitting in the last bench i called him up so that boy leaves his place comes to me takes the book and goes back to the place it is also similar to this the molecules leave their place comes to the source of heat here they absorb the heat and again goes back to its to its place so this type of process of transmission of heat is called as convection don't worry about the definition of all these i will be giving you when i will give you the question answers right children so i think it's clear now convection so this type of transmission of heat heat is because of convection current so this you can see a current is set up and such type of current is called as convection current right so remember children here the molecules actually leave their place come to the source of heat and after absorbing heat they go back to its place now this convection current which is set up it also happens in case in nature you must have heard of land breeze and sea breeze now what are these now <coughs> supposing <coughs> this is land and here this is the sea
during the daytime during the daytime both the land and the water in the sea is being heated by the sun but the land absorbs both are absorbing heat by the sun for the same time duration but the land gets more heated than the water in the sea as the land gets more heated the air above land the air above land becomes more hot in comparison to air above sea so temperature is more or you can say it is hotter air above land is hotter than air above sea and you know that hot air becomes light so it rises upward so an empty zone is created over here or you can say a low pressure area is created over here as a result comparatively cold air from above the sea rushes towards the land and this is called as sea breeze so here also you can see that a convection current is set up so this is how sea breeze occurs near the coastal region in the coastal region right so this is called sea breeze so remember in sea breeze what happens it happens during the day right on the other hand what happens when it is the moon means what happens at night what happens at night let us see at night what happens now after sunset as the sun sets the land starts cooling very very fast it becomes cold at night on the other hand the water in the sea is comparatively warmer right so if the water above water in sea is comparatively warmer than the land that means what the air above sea is warmer then the air above land so this warm air will start is lighter so it will start rising upward towards the sky so as it rises upward and empty zone is created over here or you can say a low pressure zone is created over here and comparatively cold air from the land will start rushing towards the sea so this will be called as land breeze clear children so this is how again you can see a convection current is set up so this is how in coastal regions land breeze and sea breeze occurs now remember you must see that land breeze takes place during night at night whereas sea breeze occurs during the day so this is a natural phenomena which occurs and which follows the principles of physics clear children so in the next class <clears throat> i'll so in our next class we will do about radiation thank you